Great town. Yes. Man, the thighs of goodness. Fletcher Miller are absolutely massive. Gable just good job moving his, just using his hands, to get getting on him right away. Yeah. Let me get to those thighs. Yeah. He got to him pretty quickly. Big old Christmas hams. Gable going for 27. I keep getting, uh, I keep following Minnesota's Twitter, and they they just keep uh, rattling off the the Gophers of yesteryear that have had 27 in a row or whatever it is. And uh, based on the uh, the first minute of this match, looks like Gable's well on his way to uh, establish himself in a, a new tier of uh, consecutive wins. I wish they would have done that like at like win number. 11 or something, so I could have got mentioned. <laughs> Gable again with the uh, mismatched shoes. Uh huh. It's a good look. I wonder if he wore the. Was it? Is it the same mismatch? You know, is it the same uh. left foot white shoe, or was it last time? Was it left foot black shoe? Oh man, just a good foot sweep there at the single leg. Gable looking pretty good early on this one. And just great fluidity. That just the, the fluidity of that foot sweep. You know, it's I'm waiting until your foot is a millimeter above the mat where I can just sweep it out without any any friction of the your shoe. I mean it's incredible. I mean it's just what I think he's feel. best at in, yeah. in, in any I mean obviously Gable Stevenson's a phenomenal wrestler, and he's good in just about every position out there. But I think the thing that he's best at is he's just he's two, three steps ahead of it. So that when he's snapping you one way, he knows you're gonna exactly what you are going to do to respond, and he's already moving so that he can score from that next position. Which makes it makes people look silly. I right. mean, like that's and it's just because he's already anticipated what you're gonna do, and he's. Deep. I mean, I mean like that, that goal behind in the second shot seconds. where Fletcher, or the second takedown where Fletcher Miller took a shot and Gable just saw it coming from a ways off and his goal behind just made Fletcher look bad. But it's just, it's, he's unlike anybody I've seen, especially at, at the heavyweight division. And just, you know, obviously the country's been blessed with some pretty great heavyweights in the last couple of years with Kyle Snyder and Adam Kuhn. And Kyle Snyder was phenomenal heavyweight and I don't know that Gable's at that level yet but just what Gable does as far as reaction and, and, and how quick he transitions from one thing to another like Kyle Snyder can dominate you because he was so good at his low ankle picks and heavyweights just can't defend a low ankle pick but Gable just can beat you in so many ways Gable up and out right away. Fletcher trying to climb to that two on one there. Gable back in on a leg again, trying to run around the corner. Another takedown makes it nine to two. Now he has 217 a riding time. He's gonna cut Fletcher Miller loose. Good little throw by yeah, attempt. Good attempt. That was very close to being there. I was talking about this earlier this week, and I I don't know, I can't remember a time I, that Gable's been taken down yet this year. Um and, and Yusuf Amita was close mm -hmm. on last Sunday with that you know, kind of knee pick he hit him with in the yeah. first period. Yeah. But I don't know that Gable's given up a takedown yet this year. He, I can't remember, but I think he got taken down at in Vegas. Okay. But late in the match when it didn't matter. Right. And I think it was kind of like a yes, like a one Utah Valley deal. kid, maybe Utah I Valley kid. I think I think he got one at the end. And that guy gave him a real nice and little cross face. Yep, exactly. And just from left field. Yeah. I mean. 
That's the only one I can remember, and I'm not I'm not so sure that it actually happened, but I think it did. Otherwise, I think yes, he's he's nobody scored offensively on him. Second period winds down now. Gable will pretty much have riding time locked up. He leads 11 to three in this one. One period to go. Fletcher did not like that. Gail was trying to guide him to the, the starting block. So don't you tell me where to go. <laughs> I know where, to go. I know where I'm going. Let me get down there at my own pace. I'm a heavyweight. Stop. You don't have to Moving be doing so all this fast. crazy stuff to me. Probably doesn't like that either. No. Minnesota fans like it, though. They do. They're a big fan of it. Gable's trying to get this turn. Again, we did start at 133 pounds, so we do have one yeah. more match to go. So this isn't the last one of the duel. I love it when they come back around the horn because oh, yeah. you just go from, well, I mean, Gable's less so than yeah. typical heavyweight match, but it goes from, like, slow motion to, like, turbo mode. And especially we were going to get Elijah yeah. Oliver, exactly. who's, like, extremely <laughs> fast. <laughs> oh, there he is. He's got Gable's it. He's got this tilt now. So that four points is going to make it 17 to four. He's going to need one more takedown. If he can cut him and get a takedown yet and a ride out, then he could get a tech fall. The board still hasn't awarded the four. So 17 to four. Oh. He's going to. Fletcher Miller's out, so a takedown in the last 30 seconds and a ride out would be a technical fall for Gable Stevenson. A lower elevation, just missed that double. Ooh. Just a <laughs> just disappears oh. out from underneath the guy. And he's got Fletcher now kind of hanging that head a little bit. I mean, can you imagine how that is? For Fl I mean, like, he's just like, oh, I'm, I'm moving I'm safe I'm here. Anybody I've I'm ever wrestled. I'm safe here, I got my hands locked, and then... Switches feet, disappears, he's gone. So the ride out gives an additional point for riding time. Gable Stevenson will win this one 20 to five.